Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. Sorry for the wait. It is LGR Live from Parkway High School, the Battle of the Hardwood Classic. We are back. We have been gone all summer long. Had a successful season last year with the show. Thank you guys for tuning in. Again, we are back. Back live here. Live, comment, share, like. Like, share, comment, like. Tell us what you think of the live stream. Again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome here to LGR Live here from Parkway High School. The Battle on the Hardwood Classic. Tonight's matchup, feature matchup, is between the Lady Wildcats of Wiseman and the Lady Chiefs of Nagatis Central. Wiseman, Lady Wildcats, coming off a big, big, win at Huntington the other night. Go into Raspberry Lane and knock off one of the favorites, Huntington Lady Raiders. They got a tough challenge here tonight um, because they are going to be facing one of the favorites in 5A, the Nagatis Central Lady Chiefs. And the teams are ready. The ball's in the air, and we have a live basketball on LGR Live, ladies and gentlemen. Nagata Central starts looking to penetrate that defense of Wiseman. She penetrates, she shoots, and she scores. That's number one, Michaela for Nagatis Central to get them started here. And Nagatis is on the board first. And Alyssa Chandler, who had a great summer, gets Nagatis on the board again. And Nagatis is off rolling here. minutes and 46 seconds left here in the first quarter. On the scoreboard, Nagadish four and Wiseman with two. Big Brittany with the rebound. They get Miss Morgan with the foul. Her first, Nagatish. One thing it'll, oh, that was out of bounds, I'm sorry. Correction there. And that's two more for the Lady Chiefs. And the Lady Chiefs are causing Wiseman problems with their press. And they're on the board again. Eight to two. Five 
five minutes. Left here in the first. Nagadish is off rolling. Morgan with the high and she rolled. Out of bounds. Ball will stay with Nagadish. Ladies and gentlemen, again, welcome back to LGR Live. Sorry for the wait. A lot of folks have been calling, texting about when the live streams were going to start. And we are officially live with LGR Live. Alyssa Chandler again had a great summer and she continues her hot streak. Has picked up several major offers this summer and it is carrying over to our high school team. Brittany Burton, who is just committed to Southeastern for two for the Lady Cats. off running. It's Denia Ross who had an awesome game the other night against Waz, uh, Huntington. It's Denia Augerson, Brittany Burton with the rebound and they'll get a foul on Nagadish. Ladies and gentlemen, you see the clock in uh, your screen there. We're testing that out this year. It might be off a little bit. Bear with us while we get used to using it. Keep you up to date with the score and the clock here in, in the facilities. We're live from Parkway High School, this beautiful complex. And Wiseman gets one on the board. And Wade off. Wiseman gets the rebound. Wilson will push over to Ross, who shoots to Augustin. She missed. Augustin gets her own rebound and one, and she'll go to the line. She gets it to go, and she'll go to the line for one. Argerson connects, and we got ourselves a ball game, looks like, lady here at the battle on the hardwood. She tries, Michaela penetrates, two more for her. And the cat, Lady Cats can't seem to slow her down. Nagatis go to their famous one, two, two, get beat on the backside, and they're scrambling now. Big Wilson does what Wilson does. Chandler with the rebound. She's gonna push in the open court. She dishes. She's off. Augustin rebound over to Ross. And we have a foul here in the building. Ladies and gentlemen, the, the, got a nice Nice crowd here this evening, here in Sh Shreveport, Bossier City, for the first day of this tournament. Again, the Lady Cats com coming off as a tie-up, coming off a big win the other night against on Monday night on opening night against. They came over to Shreveport and beat Huntington, who. Do not lose on Raspberry Lane. Uh, Huntington had command of that game all, but the Lady Cats never gave up, just like they're not doing here. And they're keeping themselves within the game. 
We're live, ladies and gentlemen, the LGR Live Basketball. We are back for the season. At the line, Akira Wade for Negative Central. She connects on the first one. She gets both of them to go to give her team a five point lead. And we're off and running. Nagatis will stay with their press to slow Wiseman down. Wiseman handles, handles it pretty well and they get two. If Nagatis is gonna press, they need to find a way to slow Wiseman down. And as a turnover, Ross, what a tricky play there. She turns it over. And the Lady Cats, Wilson with the steal and the finish to bring it to one. She'll skip it. 4-3! Nagadishes. For Nagadish, number five, Molly Coleman with that three. Michaela is hoping tonight for Nagadish. Kayla Gallon. And Wilson drives. She missed. Big Brittany Burton to Southeast. Turn commit. Gets the rebound and puts it back to keep Wiseman within four. The Wiseman Lady Wildcats has a tough schedule here this first week of the season. Played uh, Huntington on Monday, got Nagadish tonight, got Parkway tomorrow night. It's going to be tough for them. And she'll go to the line. At the line again, Wade. For Nagadish. Shout out to all the fans in the building. Shout out to one of our loyal supporters, New Southwood head coach, Marcus Johnson, is in the building. <laughs> Wade gets the first one to go. She gets both of them to go for her team. And we're under 45 seconds here in the first quarter. Wilson splits. She gets two to go. And we're under 15 seconds here. Nagatis is gonna penetrate. And Wiseman steals it. Under five, four, and they get two at the end. And that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it, ladies and gentlemen, of the first. And Nagatis is gonna take a two point lead into the second quarter.
Ladies and gentlemen, the battle on the hardwood brought to you by the Shreveport Bossier Sports Commission. Nagadish, and they have got to contain her, and there they are on the board again. Nagadish is kind of having their way right now with Wiseman. Wiseman will get it figured out. I'm pretty sure there. There's Brittany Burton. Southeastern's got a good steal there on their hands coming their way. Michaela Gallon, she shoots for three, she misses. Brittany Burton with the rebound. Wilson will push, and she scoops, and two to tie the game for Wiseman. And Wiseman has got themselves a mini run going here. Alyssa Chandler. And Wilson misses. And they'll get Wiseman. They'll get Wiseman on the foul. Shout out to Coach Clay for watching, share, like our posts. Ball will stay with Nagadish, 621. It's left in the first half. Chandler, she drives, she, she misses. Chandler, the ball will go to Wiseman. <laughs> Tie ball game here in Bossier City. Both of these teams had about Hour, hour, 15, hour, 30 minute drive both ways. Come play this competitive game. One thing you'll see, ladies and gentlemen, this year as the rule has changed, five fouls in each quarter and then we shoot two. Fouls will reset at the every quarter and they lob it to Brittany Burton. She gets her own rebound and she'll go to the line. Count it. Wiseman takes their first lead of the game. She gets it to go. And Nagatis will walk it up. She penetrates and She gets the first one to go. Kind of stop the bleeding there for Nagatis. And 
and Wiseman is now have caught on to Nagadis' press. Uh, and are handling it pretty well. Jump ball. And Ross with the baseball pass over across court. Alyssa Chandler with the steal. They'll take their time. Nagatis Bench causing some confusion for Wade with the rebound. Alyssa Chandler shoots, follows her own shot. She gets a rebound. Michaela for three to give Nagatis the lead back. And they'll go back to the press. Runner out of bounds, and they get a turnover. Again, Nagatis, one of the favorites in 5A, period. But this senior heavy group, they're definitely one of the favorites to be in Hammond come March. Michaela, she shoots. Morgan gets the LaCour, gets the rebound. Michaela push it up. It's three minutes here left in the building. And Coleman shoots. She's off the mark. Uh, Ross gets the rebound. Over to... She steps out. Turnover. Jones tells her point guard something. They go to work. High low action with Wade and LaCour. Turnover, Nagadish. Wilson, go by Chandler. And it's so off the mark. Ross. And it's LaCour. She's off the mark. She'll shoot. We're under two minutes here in the first half, ladies and gentlemen. Ross swings to my Franklin. Wilson tries to drive over the big burden. And she gets two to go. 
Now this has got to figure out how to stop Burton down low. We have a tie ball game here, ladies and gentlemen, here from the Battle on the Hardwood Classic. And it's gonna be Wiseman Ball. Time out. Time out. Negative Central, 30 second time out. Like, share our comments. Like, share, comment, tell somebody we're on live. We're back live this year for this season. LGR Live. Hashtag us, LGR Live. Wilson for three, she's off the mark. Coleman will get the rebound. Ross will chase her down. Coleman for two. She gets it to go. We're under a minute here in the first half. Wilson, a survey. The defense trying to make something happen for Wiseman here. Nagus is getting aggressive. Really? Nagatis is really stepping up the defense here in this last minute. Ross all the way to the bucket. And now. It's a tie ball game with under 15. And it's a turnover for Nagatis. Wiseman will have it with 11 seconds left on the clock for the last, possibly could be the last shot of the first half. And Ross is going to swing it to Big Burton for two. And that could possibly be the difference. That is the end of halftime, ladies and gentlemen, live from the Battle on the Hardwood Classic, Nagatis versus Wiseman. Ladies and gentlemen, hashtag us, LGR Live. Let somebody know that we are live on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, let them know that we have a game going on. Nagatish, one of the favorites in 5A Division I, none select. And Wasman, 4A Division II, none select. Wasman defending back-to-back -back champions in Division II. Nagatish made a run in it last year to the quarterfinals before getting beat by the eventual state champs, Parkway Lady Panthers. Uh, we got ourselves a matchup, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll be back live from Bossier City. Don't go anywhere.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back here live. Uh, we're back here live from halftime. Let me know if you can see my score in the corner down here. Kind of try to play with it a little bit during halftime to give you guys a better look here at this game so nothing would interfere with your view. Let me know if you still can see the score. Please help us out there. And we're here live back for the start of the third. And Eisen Burton for two. Burton's having a field day here. And this one. Magus. And that's the chance you, that's the risk you take. And Wade misses. LaCour missed the first one. Wade with the offensive rebound, she misses. Argerson will dish to Burton. Chandler couldn't handle it. Wade picks it up to Gallon. 4-2. Keep Nagatis within two points. We got ourselves a good game here. And it's Burton again. Try to help you out there at the next time out. Chandler gets rejected and she fouls. Chandler gets rejected by Burton and fouled. Again, Chandler coming off that stellar summer. She had picked up numerous offers. Uh, trying to help it carry over to her high school team. And it's Burton again. Nagus just has no answer for Brittany Burton's size. And timeout, Coach Jones wants to talk about it with her kids. Nagatis ball coming out of the timeout. Good action there from Nagatis. It's going to be a close game all the way, it looks like. And again, Wiseman going into Brittany Burton. Nagatis still can't seem to find an answer for her. And she'll be at the line shooting two. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she missed the first one. Ladies and gentlemen, like, share. Let us know, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to see us go live and talk about girls basketball like we did last year, blow us up, repost. Yeah. 
We give the people what they want. That's what we try to do, help our girls in the meantime and come bring to you and highlight our girls here in the state of Louisiana. LaCour with the offensive rebound. Good work for LaCour around the basket. I'm behind on the score, but the score now is in the building, 43 to 41. Nagatis is slowly crawling back in to this thing. Wilson with the long rebound. She misses. Augustin with the offensive. Brittany Burton thought about it. That would have been a sight to see Wilson for two. That would have been a sight to see if Brittany Burton had a shot that three-pointer. She thought about it for a second. Shout out to Odell for watching the live stream. Coleman dribbles and she passes over the. We'll try to get that live to you guys. Chandler for a two. Alyssa Chandler. Ladies and gentlemen, remember the name. Talked to her before the game. She says she's getting ready to. She's narrowed her decision down, getting ready to lock in and commit. Look for that announcement to come soon. Jump ball in the building. The ball will go to Nagata Central. Three forty-seven here in the third quarter. As we have a two-point ball game. Well. Uh, the official score says it's 41 to 45, so we have a four point ball game. Nagadish probably walked in here, the underdog against Wiles Wiseman, but they are holding their own. And Akira Wade is the name for two. She'll go to the line to try to make it a one point game. She connects, and we got ourselves a one-point game, ladies and gentlemen, here in the third quarter. And Nagatis goes back to their press on Wiseman. Ross breaks it, and it's pretty much an easy layup. Ross and Wiseman has missed some easy, pretty easy layups. Coleman will stop, pop. She misses. And they'll get Wiseman with ball. will stay with Nagatis. Ladies and gentlemen, the battle on the hardwood is going on all week long, live here from Parkway and off the bench for two. And it's layup drill, Bernie Burton trying to maintain it. Ross, Nagatis have reclaimed the lead after Wiseman controlled most of the second and most of this quarter, but Nagatis have turned up the defense and we have a oh, foul called on LaCour from Nagatis. <laughs> on that two point shot, while ago for Nagatis was Jada Lawrence. Oh. Over to Ross for two. She's off. Wade gets the rebound and she'll push. Uh, Wiseman comes out with the steal. And Wade controls it. Offensive rebound. Wade. Akila Wade for Nagatis. It's starting to come alive here. And Nagatis is flying around, but Big Brittany says, quieting that down. And Coach Rob will call a timeout, settle his troops down from Wiseman.
Ladies and gentlemen, we're live here from the Battle of the Hardwood Classic here in Shreveport, Bossier City. Shout out to the Shreveport Bossier Sports Commission for proudly sponsoring this year in and year after, giving our girls a platform to perform. We're live here from Parkway High School in Bossier City. Shout out to um, this tournament's Shout out to this tournament's creator, Miss Cherie Sims, uh, for coming up with a dream, going out, getting a sponsor, and giving our girls a platform to showcase their talent every year at the beginning of the year. We're supporting breast cancer. He has a foul called, it'll be Wiseman's ball. This tournament is held year in and year out in support of breast cancer at the beginning of the year. And it's Wade, uh, I mean, Wilson for three. To give Wasman back the lead. And Gallon drives for Nagatis, she misses. Brittany Burton comes out with the rebound over the Ross. She'll control it for the Cats, Lady Cats. Burton at the high post. And there are Fiend, Brittany Burton all day, and Nagatis has no answer for Brittany Burton. We're under a minute here, live from the Battle on the Hardwood Classic. LGR Live, post, share, like, subscribe to our page. Let somebody, Wade says, hold up, wait a minute, I'm in the building. Nagatis is given. Wilson says, let me show you what I can do for two. This game is picking up, ladies and gentlemen. Just what we thought it was gonna be. And one Ladies and gentlemen, it is getting good. For Nagatis Wiggins with the N1. <laughs> Wiggins at the line for Nagatis to make good for the N1. Wiseman, 15 seconds left in this third quarter. It's getting good. They're trying to trap Wilson. Ross, this is somebody you don't want to leave open. And they find at the buzzer. It's no good, ladies and gentlemen. And that's the end of the third. With Nagatis climbing back in it and making it a one-point game. Here live from the Battle on the Hardwood Classic. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a game. Subscribe, like, tell somebody that We have a game here live on LGR Live, bringing you girls basketball from around the state of Louisiana, giving our girls a platform to showcase their talents. Our girls had a great summer all around the state, picked up a lot of offers all around the state, and we're here to showcase their talents all season long, ladies and gentlemen. Again, sorry for the wait. If you wanna see us live during the week, like we did last week, let us know. Shout out, post us on your story. Tell us LGR Live, we need you weekly in our homes and we'll be there. If you want us to come out and live stream a game, get with us, DM us, 
inbox the page, whatever you gotta do, let us know. We'll do our best to get there. And we're starting, we're starting the fourth quarter and there's Wiseman that's off to the races here. Sorry about the score clock, ladies and gentlemen. We'll get it, we'll get it uh, corrected with the time here in just a second. It is indeed the fourth quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is the fourth. And they got an illegal screen on Nagatis. So. All right, we should be up. Sorry about that technical difficulties there. Wiseman up by three. Ladies and gentlemen, tell somebody, let somebody know that there is a game, a good game between two heavyweights in the state. Wilson saying, get out of my way, I'm in the building. And they're starting negative, and Wiseman starting to stretch their lead back up to six. Wade drives, she loses it. Wiseman comes up with the steal. Wiseman role players are standing up. See what the call is. Ball is gonna go towards Nagatish Way. Gallon goes to LaCour, she misses. Argerson with the rebound. Bill Wilson will bring it up. Wilson has a fantastic season last year, ladies and gentlemen. She won the all-city MVP for the Monroe area. Uh, she, oh! Coleman for three, she's short. Chandler rebounds it, brings it out. Gallon, four. Nagatis is starting to go cold. Um, Wiseman controls it, up by five. doing her thing. Uh, big Brittany Burton, that's been the story all night. Nagas has no answer for Brittany Burton. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, LGR Live, and we got Brittany Burton on a foul. LGR Live will be live all week long from the Battle on the Hardwood Classic. The feature matchup tomorrow night, ladies and gentlemen, is Wasman versus Parkway Lady Panthers. Two state championship teams from last year going head to head in the premier matchup. That game will come to you tomorrow at eight o'clock. 7.30, I believe. And she misses that one. Wilson doing her thing. Tomorrow, Parkway Wiseman.
kicks off at 8 o'clock tomorrow night. We also have Northwood Lena as defending state champions against Homer tomorrow at 5 o'clock. We have been Lady Tigers against the BT Dub Lions. And we have the Parkway versus Wiseman at 8. Nagatis is trying to get something going. Chandler. Whoa. Chandler try on the penetration there. Nagatis ball. Baseline out of bounds. Coleman shoots two. Keeps Nagatis. It's a four. It's a four. It's a four-point game, ladies and gentlemen. We still, we still got ourselves a game. This game, we're off with a baseball pass. And just like that, Ross says, uh-uh. Ah, not too early and not too soon. They're attacking. And she has, Michaela Gatlin has been on her game, all game. Ross with the behind the bag wrap. And she gets two. Ken Nagatis cannot afford to let her get going. She's kind of been quiet tonight. Had a monster game with 33 points the other night against Huntington with nine three-pointers, ladies and gentlemen. That ball will stay with Nagatis. She clearly showed up that she was the best player in the gym. Timeout, Nagatis. Again, ladies and gentlemen, we're live from the Battle on the Hardwood here in Bossier City, Louisiana. And we have a matchup, heavyweight matchup, with three minutes and 40 seconds left here in the game. Uh, Wiseman Lady Cats and the Nagatis Lady Chiefs. Wiseman leads by six, eight, six. I apologize, my math's off there. Ladies and gentlemen, like, share, subscribe. Let everybody know that we're in the building and we're live. Shout out to Coach Trey, Barb, Lady Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in the building. When you see us in the building live, come up to us. Tell us to grow our game. Again, ladies and gentlemen, sorry for the wait. But we had some things going, but we're live now. Uh, and if you want to see us throughout the week, inbox us. Let us know. Post us on your Instagram, your Facebook feed. Let us know that you want to see us a lot. The fellas talk girls basketball like we did last year. And Arkansas with the steal. Oh, might have got away with a double dribble. And Wasman will be in no hurry here. Ross, there she goes. LaCour with the steal. And it'll be Wiseman Ball. With just over three minutes left here in this game. Ladies and gentlemen, this one's been a good one. LGR Live, ladies and gentlemen, is in the building live here from Parkway. We got a good one. And uh, Augustin. 4-2. That one kind of hurt. If she hits this one, it'll put them up by nine. Boy. 
And it kind of looks like Nagatis may be running out of steam here. Uh, against Wiseman, she missed. Wiseman just out working Nagatis right now. And Nagatis can't afford to sit back. They're down by eight. And it's Argeson to, for two to put him up by 10. That may be the nail in the coffin there that Wiseman needed. Otherwise, this has been a good game to start all LGR live feed off. Nagatis has went kind of cold. Unable to buy a bucket these last few minutes of the game. Scoreboard does not reflect what kind of game this has been. LaCour, Nagatis again, is going to make noise in that heavy loaded 1-5-A district. Senior heavy team will definitely be there in the end. This is no knock against their team. Their first game of the season. Again, Wiseman has already played one. Went up against a very young and talented Huntington Lady Raiders on Monday. No knock against Nagatish here. Again, they're definitely one of the top teams in the state of Louisiana, no matter what classification. And they should easily. Definitely don't want to say matter of fact. Um, but if they do what they do and stay together with these seniors that they got on this squad, they should make a run at Hammond. She gets both of them to go and coach a sub her out. Might be done for the night. Wiseman, 10 point lead. All I gotta do is protect the ball here. Maybe even score once, and she did. Can't let that one keep going. And Nagatish will come up just short against Wiseman, but was in the game all night long. This was a heck of a game. And Chandler for a three. Coach will call a timeout. With 44 seconds left in the game. Ladies and gentlemen, again, we're live and we'll be live here all week long from the Battle on the Hardwood Classic here in Shreveport. Bozier, shout out to the Shreveport Bozier Sports Commission for sponsoring this event uh, and keeping this event going for all these years. Tomorrow's feature game will be this very Wiseman team against the defending champions, Parkway Lady Panthers, who definitely will look uh, uh, a lot different with number 12 down in Baton Rouge putting up big points like she's doing. Um, but the show must go on, and we shall see. And Nagatis is going to buy some pressure, and they get a call, a favorable call there from the official. May have went off on Nagatis, but it is Nagatis' ball. 41 seconds here, and 
Either way, both of these teams will get power points from this game. Uh, Magadish and C Short and Chandler gets the foul. They're gonna, gonna send them to the line. Chandler with the foul again. And they're trying to just get them to the line. One more foul and Wiseman will shoot. Burton comes back, checks back in. For the last 32 seconds of the game, one more foul here and Wiseman will be shooting. And of course, Nagas didn't want a foul, but they are and they're gonna put Wiseman to the line and play the foul game here. Um, Nagas to push it up, but Wiseman is clearly gonna win this ball game. And no quit, no, no quit. And turn over Lacour. And they're not gonna, they're not gonna stop playing. It's one thing about Nagas, they don't care what the score is. They don't care how much time's on the clock. They're gonna keep playing the into the final horn. Um, again. This score is does not reflect what kind of ball game this was. It was definitely closer throughout the night. But the back-to-back -back state champion, Division II states, non-select state champion, Wiseman Lady Cats are gonna walk out of here, head on back to Monroe, but have a date with the defending Division I non-select champions on tomorrow night. And Wiseman is gonna, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching our broadcast live from uh, Shreveport, Bossier. Lady Wildcats from Wiseman uh, 74. Um, the lady, she's from Nagatis 63. Good night, ladies and gentlemen, from LGR Live, live from 